Soil is a dynamic material that experiences various stresses and loads throughout its history. These loads can come from natural sources such as deposition and glaciers or from human activities such as construction activities. Also, these loads get removed from the soil by natural and human activities such as erosion, surface drying, mining, etc. Over time, these varying loads change the soil structure and behavior, which can have important implications for engineering projects. In geotechnical engineering, soil that has never been under any significant pressure before is called a virgin soil. Such soils are very compressible, which means they will deform and settle a considerable amount when the load is applied. This is because their particles are loosely packed and have large volume of voids. When such soils are loaded, effective stress is generated between their particles and that causes them to settle. Now suppose that the load has been removed due to any reason, then we have a soil that has undergone some degree of consolidation. Now let's say we load the soil again but with a greater load than the previous one. If the effective stress generated by this new load is the maximum that the soil has ever experienced in its history, the soil is called normally consolidated soil. The soil will settle furthermore under this new higher load and effective stress. That is why normally consolidated soils exhibit high compressibility and large settlements when loaded, making them less suitable for supporting heavy structures. While on the other hand, if the soil has previously been subjected to a larger load and that load has been removed due to any reason and it is now loaded with lesser load, soil will experience lower effective stress on its particles, hence will be less compressive. This is because the soil particles have already rearranged and densified under the heavier past load. Such soils, which have experienced a higher effective stress in the past than they are experiencing now, are called over-consolidated soils. Understanding the soil's stress history is crucial if we want to build any structure on the soil. Specifically, we need to know if the soil has experienced higher loads, smaller loads or no load at all in the past. It is generally better if we construct our structure on over-consolidated soil. That means on a soil that has experienced a greater stress in its past than the stress we are going to subject it with or structure load. Over consolidated soil will already be denser, have higher strength and lower compressibility. Hence, it will experience lower settlement. The maximum value of a stress that a soil has ever experienced is called Pre-consolidation stress, sigma prime C. Consider a virgin soil that has never been loaded before. If we load it with some effective stress, say sigma prime 1, this stress becomes its pre-consolidation stress, as this is the maximum it has ever experienced. Now, if the load has been removed for any reason, and soil is loaded with lesser stress, say sigma prime 2. Then still soil's pre-consolidation stress remains sigma prime 1. On the other hand, if we load this soil with higher stress than sigma prime 1, say it is sigma prime 3, then pre-consolidation stress has become sigma prime 3. As this is the highest stress, soil has ever experienced. 
Based on this, we can say a soil is considered as over consolidated if the existing effective stress is less than the pre-consolidation stress. Also, soil is normally consolidated if the existing stress is equal to the pre-consolidation stress. This means current effective stress represents the maximum stress the soil has ever encountered throughout its history. The degree of over-consolidation is often quantified using over-consolidation ratio. This ratio provides a numerical value that indicates how much higher the past stress was compared to the current stress. The over-consolidation ratio, also called OCR, is defined as the ratio of pre-consolidation stress, that is, the maximum value of effective stress the soil has ever experienced to the present effective stress. For normally consolidated soil, current stress will be equal to its pre-consolidation stress. Means current stress is the maximum stress on the soil. Then for normally consolidated soils, OCR is equal to 1. While for over consolidated soils, current stress will be lesser than the pre-consolidation stress. Means current stress is less than the maximum stress soil has ever faced. Then for over consolidated soils, OCR is greater than 1. Also, a higher value of over consolidation ratio indicates that the soil has been previously loaded far beyond its current stress level and has undergone significant consolidation. This means it is less likely to consolidate further under current loads, resulting in less settlement. Such over consolidated soil generally exhibits higher shear strength and can tolerate greater loads before failure compared to normally consolidated soil. However, lower value of over consolidation ratio indicates soil has not experienced very high load in its past and with the current load it may undergo some settlement. Over consolidation ratio is a crucial parameter which provides insights into the stress history and consolidation behavior of soils. We will look into the soil's stress history via plot between void ratio and effective stress in our next video. Support elementary engineering on Petro and get access to the questions that I have solved related to this and other topics. Also your support will help me continue creating more such valuable content. You can find the links of the books and other sources I referred for the creation of this video in the description. Read normally consolidated and over consolidated soils at elementaryengineeringlibrary.com. Thank you.